Hi guys, welcome back to the Model 3 Man channel. Back to the tip of the day, and this is week number four. So we've got 12 episodes so far, and today will be episode number 13. And I'm getting lots and lots of comments and ideas for new tips of the day. By the way, before we start, I had a tremendous opportunity to interview Trevor Page from Tesla Owners Online just two days ago about the upcoming Fast EV Lightning Run, which is a cross-Canada venture using a Model 3 where Trevor and Ian will travel from Sawasan in British Columbia all the way across to Halifax in Nova Scotia. And they're leaving on Tuesday. There's still time to book in for that dinner that they're holding and to see them go on Wednesday morning. So I've put the link up here, uh, jump onto that interview, have a look at the pinned comment at the top, it'll give you all the information you need. Back to tip of the day. And today, I wanna deal with the basics of using autopilot. I know that some of you have full self-driving, others have that hybrid creature called enhanced autopilot, and I'm one of them. Others of you just have basic autopilot, and it includes two components, traffic aware, cruise control, and auto steer. And today we're just going to address how to use, how to activate, how to know when they won't work, how to deal with situations where the conditions make our autopilot fail, and gain a little bit of a better understanding. So tip of the day, autopilot consisting of auto steer, traffic aware, cruise control. Let's begin with the first, Traffic Aware Cruise Control, TAC. Now, many cars have had for many years a form of cruise control, but it's simple. It gets the speed up to the speed you set, and basically on an open highway, it keeps going. But Tesla's Traffic Aware Cruise Control is a little different. It has a number of features. For example, if the cars in front slow down, or if the cars completely stop, Traffic Aware Cruise Control will bring you to a stop or will slow you down. If the cars ahead are going slower than the speed, well then your Model 3 will slow down to match their rate. And if the traffic should come to a stop, the TAC will begin to accelerate once the traffic begins to move. Following distance. If you push the right scroll wheel to the right or to the left, you will increase or decrease the distance that your car will maintain in following the nearest car ahead of it. There is a danger with traffic aware cruise control that maybe you weren't aware of. And that is, if a car in front of you slows down but then suddenly moves out the lane because somebody has stopped in your lane, Model 3 may not see that stopped car or may not break in time. You have to be totally responsible for controlling the car in the event that an unforeseen obstacle or object in the road or anything else happens, it's still up to you. And the notes in the acceptance document make it quite clear. It's not Tesla's fault if you have an accident. You need to stay in total control all the time, irrespective of what's happening. Not the time to sleep. Not the time to be drunk and returning home and dozing off against the window or against the back of the seat there. It's our responsibility. First of all, let's understand the Traffic Aware Cruise Control depends for its success upon the cameras working, the ultrasonic sensors working, as well as the radar unit under the front fender. So if those are not working or if they are obstructed, as happened to me traveling the other day with ice and frozen rain that froze right across the front fender, autopilot just came to a stop obstruction of cameras or obstruction of sensors. So if our cameras become covered with mud, dirt, dust, ice, if the same happens to the sensors and to the radar unit, there is no auto steer, there's no traffic aware control, everything comes to a halt. So very important that, that our responsibility is to make sure that those sensors and cameras are clear of any obstructions. So first of all, let's look at how we actually activate TAC or traffic aware cruise control. The best method is a simple downward press on the gear lever. The gear lever is the right hand side, the indicators on the left, I know that's basic, but one tap down and you're in automatic cruise control. How do you adjust the speed? How do you make sure that the speed is the speed of the highway? Well, there's several ways to do it. Number one, you can roll the right hand scroll wheel upwards. If you roll it one click at a time, you're going up one mile or one K per click. If you flick it 
You're going up five miles an hour or five kilometers per hour, and you can keep doing that until you reach the highway posted limits. Let's say you've set your cruise control at 50 kilometers per hour, and then you accelerate up to 80 or 85 or 90 because the road conditions change. A simple flick of the scroll wheel will match the speed you're going at with your cruise control setting. It's that easy. Now, of course, you can go onto the screen and you can tap the little plus sign or the minus sign, and you'd be crazy to do that. Now, how do you get out of it? Not difficult. Push up on the gear stalk and you're out of cruise control. Method two, just press lightly on the brake and it's gone. Then you better have your foot ready for the accelerator or the brake as the case may be. What are some of the things that will prevent TAC from working effectively? And here's where we realize driving an autopilot is not as advanced as you may have thought it was or that you would have hoped it was. So here are some of the things that prevent it from working. Number one, obstruction of the cameras and the sensors and the radar unit. Number two, bright lights coming at you, which could be lights at night, or it could be the sun that is low in the horizon and it's obstructing the cameras and the cameras cannot function because the brightness is too great and the input is too great and they're basically overexposing. Very poor road conditions, fog, heavy rain, Inability to see the lines on the road, the markings on the road. No ability to see that and the car really cannot safely control it and it will say take over, take over immediately and you'll hear the car begin to panic. Extreme cold and extreme hot can also have an effect on traffic aware cruise control as well as very winding roads or very steep hills that go over a steep rise. So there's a whole lot of things that might prevent traffic aware cruise control from working. But in the ideal, long open freeways, visible turns in the road, moderate hills, but nothing extreme. Traffic aware cruise control is the best thing they ever invented. Surmounted only by auto steer. <laughs> That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks again for your support. Please sign up, subscribe, notify, use this referral code. If you're at the point that you're about to buy a Model 3 or a Model X or a Model S, referral codes give you additional free kilometers of supercharging. So with that, we'll see you again tomorrow for the next tip of the day.